Alright, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I hope uh, everyone can hear my voice. And again, uh, if you have any questions later, perhaps we can have a Q&A session. Uh, sure. Thank you, Edek, for inviting me to talk about predator regionals and publishers. Uh, I believe yes. some of you yes. already yes. know about uh, <laughs> predator regionals and publisher, uh -huh. and some of you are actively um, doing uh, publications and aware of this topic and i really hope this session can be a refreshment session for you guys uh, to be aware of the predator regionals and publishers okay uh, let me introduce myself. As uh, the organizer mentioned just now, I'm a senior librarian at the University of Naya Library. Currently, I'm a head of education library and language and linguistic library. Feel free to connect with me via LinkedIn. You guys can scan this QR code and communicate with me via LinkedIn. And uh, this is my email, Faisal586, Faisal586 at um.my. If you have any further uh, questions or things you want to share with me you can email with me uh, via emails and uh, this is my phone number 79675018 79675018 for those who are working in university of malaya don't worry you can uh, always contact any of our staff uh, librarians in any um main library or branches library uh, we are always welcome any question regarding on our topic today and i believe um all of uh, our librarian are aware of these um pretty regional issues okay without further ado let's start our uh, discussion for today which is the predatory journals and publisher nowadays i um, believe your inbox uh, in your emails or even in your spam folder might flooded with a request to submit your paper meaning to say people are contacting you directly to uh, publish a uh, papers to contribute as uh, editors, uh, to join as a board editors, uh, editor, and then um, to join conference, to join any, um, well, I must say, famous conference, but we didn't know the, the we didn't know the status of the conference, or even uh, we are aware of some names of the journals, but we didn't know the status of the journal. Uh, for those who are my active public uh, publish uh, an article paper, you might face no problem because you are aware of which um, legit publication that you can use. But for those who are new to academia or entering um, publication world, you might face a difficulty to understand uh, or you might face the difficulty to uh, to check whether the publication is legit or not. Okay, so always remember predatory journals and publisher often use aggressive uh, and misleading marketing. They will force you, they will um, promise you so many things and um, I just want to say you need to aware of this uh, predatory journal because uh, it might face your it may it might it will damage your reputation at the end of the day. And um, if you have uh, attended any conference or published any open access um, art, uh, journals, uh, legit journals, uh, they will definitely do the data manipulation whereby they will get your emails, they will uh, try to contact you, they will uh, try to manipulate you. Uh, in a way, uh, for example, you did some um, research articles apart from your thesis and they uh, promise you to publish your thesis okay so all data uh, uh, derived from a uh, few platform whereby you have been um, uh, attended a conference or in fact your names in uh, your in any uh, websites okay they will try to retrieve try to hunt um, customer potential customer uh, to publish in their journals okay and then they will definitely claim they have uh, impact factors. They have the international editorial board. And uh, this is uh, very prominent whereby they promise quick 
publication times. Okay, um, for those who are especially uh, students uh, to graduate, they need to publish certain numbers of publication, and the time frame might um, will affect us we if uh, the publication times is very high uh, very long so they will definitely uh, promise you a quick uh, publication times okay and always remember are uh, the predatory publisher and um, journals are indexed in web of science as corpus the answer is yes okay that's the reason why you still need to aware certain journals certain publishers certain publication even though they are indexed in web of science and corpus okay even though they are indexed by web of science as corpus and always remember predatory publisher and journal might have impact factor also might have impact factor also this is because um, in web of science and scopus they are uh, they have a different calculation they have a reputable um, uh, calculation whereby some of the journal might be fake okay some of the journal might be fake so always remember you have to double triple check before you publish um, according to Wolfgang, indeed, some predatory journals can be indexed in Web of Science and Scopus. Okay, you guys can um, check the conversation in this uh, research gate regarding on the does the um, uh, predatory journals index in Scopus and Web of Science. All right, and then according to Shurik from Sri Lanka, yes, sometimes Scopus can index. Uh, can uh, two can uh, index such predatory journals therefore it's the best to have a deep check regarding on the publication uh, history and detail of the editorials bought in uh, journals okay and that's where we should play our rules to um, make sure we need to double triple check first before we uh, publish our uh, manuscript and according to Karwan, generally speaking, um, this is regarding on the calculation. I believe the two the two big database um, of way of science as corpus are measured of what it is called reputable journals. However, famous publisher like Elsevier published six fake journal in the past. Okay, therefore uh, we need to be uh, quite aware of the what is going on. Okay, you need to double, triple check, and ask your librarian before you publish. Uh, yes indeed we receive a question regarding on does this journals or publication index by scopus of web of science but um not much of um re uh, questions uh, regarding on predatory regionals um but some faculty in uh, university of malaya for example uh, education faculty they have very strong um, support system for their students so they ask for uh, does this journal uh, predatory journals or does this uh, journals are legit journals or database or legit uh, database and always remember some of the journal are also uh, open access database and uh, that is a few indicator that you need to double triple check even though it's a open access database all right another question predatory journals and publisher is not about index and not index okay always remember that so don't get confused if you want to ask your librarians about does this um, uh, publication is index or index is referring to the index provider that you are referring to for example uh, most of the RU's university are referring to way of science and scopus some of the uh, university are accepting uh, accepting uh, era index okay uh, peer review index so always remember those index can be also a predatory journals and publisher so there is no um uh, well there it's it's not a it's a not a ultimate things whether uh, even though the publication is indexed it's not a public uh, predatory journals okay always remember that and this is the concept or other names of uh, uh, predatory journals. It can be the names of fake journals, questionable journals, legitimate uh, journals, deceptive journals, dark journals, and journal operating in bad faith. Okay, and this is some of the uh, uh, 
terms that have been used to uh, to categorize um, to classify uh, purity regionals. And let's start with the definition first. Uh, the concept of predatory regionals are not universally agree to uh, define of um, predatory regionals or publisher. Uh, this is because uh, we, the concept is very wide, even though it's unanimously agree that um, predatory regionals are indicator if the publication are not meeting the global publication ethics standards okay which defined by uh, cope cope and even world associations of medical editors there is a lot of uh, other um, indicator that we can uh, explore to make sure our publications are more um, accurate the publisher a legit publisher and the publication can be uh, considered as things if you want to have a kenaikan pangkat or even um, to graduate uh, in uh, during your phd or master journey all right so according to karen uh, peter and wim so there is no universally agree to define the peter regionals and publisher however you need to have you need to have a basic knowledge on those indicator that we can um, refer to to check whether can we argue the publication can we um, check uh, can we know uh, can we double triple check the status of the uh, publication some of it such as uh, the web search of the journal does the journal can be accessible in the internet and then the journal names can be replicated from the legit journals. You have to check whether which journal that the legit one, all right? And then uh, some of the website can be mirrored from the original website. So you have to double, triple check that also. Uh, and then uh, indicators such as the uh, the fees, the editorial board, the uh, process of um, submitting the publications of um, or manuscript. So there is a lot of indicator that we need to double triple check uh, in order before we agree to submit our paper or manuscript. Okay, so what is predatory journal in the easiest uh, words? Okay, according to openaccessjournal.com, no peer review system. Okay, it's obviously if there is no peer review system, we can uh, we cannot trust that publication or uh, journals. Okay, and then uh, they know uh, they also uh, also they have no true editorial board. Okay, you need to double, triple check the background of the um, the editorial board. Who is that person? Does the person is available? You can contact the editor. You can contact the uh, the person in charge of the the ownerships of the publications. And then some of them are uh, asking for a huge publication publication charge. Okay. Pub, a huge publication charge okay and then according to trustacademic.com applying poor academic standards okay academic poor academic standards is no peer review systems okay it can be in the academic standards and practice whereby um, they have uh, they should have a timeline of the uh, publish publication uh, process they should have a clear copyright they should have a clear copyright transfer and so on and then according to uh, chat gpt okay operate operate without a standards and ethical uh, guidelines followed by the reputable uh, publisher okay this is according to chat gpt so obviously if there is no peer review system so there is no um, academic standards and practice we can declare it at the predatory journals okay and they may also falsely claim to be indexed in reputable academic database whereby you need to double triple check the status of the journal whether the journal are listed in the master journal list whether the journal are listed in the uh, directory of op open access journals and um you have 
to uh, check also uh, if there is any claim they uh, promise you to publish your paper in the fast track okay so it's something fishy you need to double triple check okay so um, again it's no peer review system poor academic uh, standards and practice what is peer review system actually what is peer, no peer review system, poor academic standards and practice in edutorials, okay? So peer review system is a process uh, whereby we acknowledge, we use the expert in particular field to evaluate the quality and the precision of the research manuscript according to the mission, vision, and the theme of the publication itself. The, if the publication is talking about science, but the experts are from social science, it's something that we need to uh, think about. Maybe it's a fake journal, or uh, it's too obvious, right? Or if the topic is too general, it's too um, multidiscipline, we should also think uh, twice before we uh, publish in those uh, publications. All right. And then uh, publish uh, research meet the standard uh, of excellent accuracy and relevance, meaning to say there is no uh, process in reviewing. Uh, it should start with the uh, it should start with the submitting of the uh, manuscript, and then the the editor of the journal should check should filter first before uh, transfer it to the um, the experts in that particular fields. Okay, so there is a process before we submit our uh, manuscript. But always remember those fake uh, those process can be fake also meaning to say they claim they have it so that's the reason why we need to double triple check other indicators even though it's um, um, most of the uh, definitions of uh, petri journals are um, depending on no peer review system or poor academic standards and practice in editorials this is some of the this is example of academic standards and practice in editorial we submit our manuscript uh, author submit the, the manuscript and then the editorial review uh, they should evaluate the manuscript to determine whether your articles it's um it suit to their publication or not before they submit it to peer review okay before they submit it to the peer review and uh, a good journal should have at least two peer review at least two peer review more it's better all right, and then uh, the time taking in this process are not like one day or two days. It's sometimes it's it making it's taking one month and two months. Okay, so because of the numbers of the publications, uh, um, manuscript that that ha they receive. Okay, so the editorial select two or more independent reviewer to review your manuscript, and then they will give it back to you. The author revise the manuscript according to the uh, peer review. Okay, and uh, the editor make the decision to whether to accept or reject according to the uh, peer review um, remarks and then the way you do the corrections also they might reject you even though you already make a revise of uh, rev uh, the manuscripts okay so this is some of the <coughs> this is uh, example of the uh, academic standards and practices editorials okay we cannot skip any of this um, process uh, some of the journal have additional process whereby they need to they uh, request you to send it to the editors. They request you to uh, to submit also the plagiarisms, uh, and then uh, the final in the final decision they uh, request you to do a copyright clearance. Okay, so some of it has a extra <coughs> flow, but this is the <coughs> This is the um, the basic of academic standards and practice in ed in editorials. Next, it's evaluating uh, journals. How do I identify predatory journals? Okay, you have to ask yourself uh, how to define predatory journals because 
you yourself will uh you yourself who uh check or search for the journals okay meaning to say you have to ask yourself whether this journal are uh, are good enough to are good enough in uh doing uh publications uh, the the uh, the company of the journals are legit company uh, and then uh, they do have uh, previous uh, publications and we need to question back does the the numbers of the publication it should be more than 10 okay if the numbers are very low we should question back okay so we need to evaluate the journals before we submit or before we identify the journal as a predatory journal so, uh, and uh, publishing. So there is no universally accepted in evaluating journals. There is quite numbers of um, methods you can use to evaluate journals, to evaluate the publisher. Um, you can use, the first one is journal evaluation uh, tools, okay? Uh, number two, you can use uh, think check submit methods, okay. And then the number three says you can uh, refer to the predatory uh, predatory reports, okay. There is quite numbers of predatory reports that you can um, check, cross check, okay, whether your publication are listed in those predatory report, okay. Number one is uh, journal evaluation tools, okay? Journal evaluation tool. These evaluation tools, um, um, as, uh, it's done by the LMU Librarian Publication Representations, uh, William H. Hannum Library, uh, Shilpa, Mary, and uh, Natalie Blass, okay? Shilpa, Mary, and Natalie Blass. You can scan this QR code or go to this website. To get this article, uh, it's a guideline actually. Okay, even though it's 2070, you still can use it because um, the indicator is quite comprehensive. Okay, there is two elements of journal evaluation in journals evaluation tools. The first one is step one is journal evaluation. Second one is publisher evaluations. So there is. Um, some uh, there is several indicator that you need to fulfill before you do um, a decision whether to publish in this uh, journal or not okay uh, you might ask me which come first to check the index first or to check the predatory journal first i must say you have to check the index first okay check whether the journal are indexed or not right after that check whether the journal, the list of the journal, the potential journal are predatory journals or not, okay? So this is the indicator that you need to double, triple check. Web search of for the journal. Does the, the journals are easy to retrieve? Does the top, uh, res top five results uh, regarding the journal that you search, okay? The journal names, check whether is there any repeatable or replicable uh, names of their journals, okay? Editorial bots, who is the person in charge of the editorial bot? Reviewing process, does the journals or publication has a clear cut on the reviewing process, uh, the time duration perhaps, and then conflict of interest might be uh, regarding on the multidiscipline um, topics. It can be the mix of uh, social science and science, pure science, and um, they should have a clear cut on the theme of the journals. And then the journal website, it's something you have to double, triple check. It's very, it's the journal website is too, um, too basic. It's something that you, it's too fishy, right? It's, it's fishy. So you need to double check the journal website. All right, review resources, meaning to say the business um, orientations of the publications, the uh, publication fees, the how to get uh, the wave fees, or even the if you pull back your uh, publications, is there any uh, percentage that we receive back of your fees, okay? 
And then uh, previous publications of the journals is also a, a good indicator to check whether the, pub, uh, the publications of the journal are good or not or consistent or not. Publishing uh, schedule, is there any uh, quarterly okay, or weekly or monthly? You have to check the consistently, consistency, uh, consistency. all right? The author fees, okay, it's, uh, um, sometimes the fees is very uh, over the top. Copyright information is very important. How to check the copyright? Uh, you need to double, tri triple check the copyright concerns, uh, copyright transfer, okay, the form of the copyright, and then um, elements of um, who are going to be the owner of the authors, okay, and um, how you can um, reshare your articles later on, it's whether the peer review articles can be shared publicly or you need to have, a, you need to double, triple check with the Sherpa Romeo elements, okay. Journal index, again, if the journals are good, you should, it, they should index by uh, any index uh, provider, okay? And then access to the journal article, does the journal art, uh, article is easy to assess? Numbers of the publication, web search of the uh, public, uh, for the publisher and then publisher information. In the journal evaluations, um, journal evaluation tools, so this is uh, the criteria, they categorize by three criteria, good, fair and poor. Okay, good, fair and poor. Each of these elements has their own um, information and indicator. Web search for the journal, the journal is within the top five and three on the first page, okay? Usually it's always be indexed as uh, top five and three. The name of the journal cannot be confused with other journals, okay? Editorial board are listed in their full names and institution affiliations. I strongly suggest you to contact back the editorial board, okay, whether it's a real person or it's a fake for persons, okay. The review process, uh, the journal state whether it's a peer review edited or has a review policy uh, listed and so on. You can read it. You can scan this QR code again or print screen this uh, slide or later I will give you guys the slide. To attack okay and you can check the full article for this um, uh, to check the indicator use okay so this is the form that you need to check okay the web search for the journal we want the popular reput uh, reputations of the journal to be uh, credible so rank three two one so I getting a uh, three two one so you have to rank it three to one. So journal names, okay, we want the journal names to be easy. <clears throat> we want to be able to know the name and affiliations of the members of the editorial board, okay? So you rank yourself. So this is some uh, another categorize, uh, categories of the criterions. You should check and you should rank yourself. Okay, rank number one, two, three, according to the uh, indicator. So at the end of the day, you have to um, total out the ranking. And this is guide to interpret. Okay, uh, if the numbers, uh, the total uh, calculation is 48 to 38, it's good within this range. The journal meet any many of the evaluation criteria defined for credibility. At the, uh, at the higher end of the range of the journal would have fewer credibility concern. Meaning to say, we if you ask the librarian, we definitely uh, encourage you to publish in this uh, journal, okay? So it meet um, um, the uh, to define the for the credibility 37 to 27 it's fair within this range of the journal meets some of the evaluation criteria defined for the credibility the author uh, would need to decide whether or not to publish in the journal meaning to say 
if you ask uh, librarians, we are not encourage you to publish in this category of um, journal. However, you decide yourself whether these journals are good publication or not, okay, based on the criteria. If it's 737, I think it should be okay. But again, you should try to check using other indicator or and then you should try to check in the uh, periodic journal uh, periodic report before you do your uh, decisions okay meaning you have to double triple check okay and then if it's 26 to uh, 16 uh, within this range the journal meet fewer of the evaluation criterion defined for credibility if you ask any librarians we don't encourage you to uh, submit your manuscript in this um, publication even though the in fact factor the journal has been in index and uh, scopus and world of science we are not encourage you because um, your institutions might not um, might not uh, retrieve it as a legit publication for the um, promotions for the graduations and so on. Okay. Number two is a uh, think check submit methods. Okay, think check submit methods. So this. Uh, uh, method it's uh, it's it's from uh, this website thing check submit the dot org uh, journals okay you can scan this QR code again to um, check uh, to explore the website okay this website it's um, it's a uh, list uh, it, it's it's quite similar with the first um, method whereby you have to ask yourself whether it's uh, meet the um, indicator to submit your manuscript or not. Okay, let's check the website. So this is the uh, thing check submit website whereby you have to uh, double triple check the journals uh, before you submit your uh, manuscript <clears throat> the first thing first it's uh, to think are uh, the submitting your research to trust journals okay is it the right journal for your work more research is being published worldwide new publisher are launching every week each week many researchers have concern about petrogen uh, publishing so you have to double triple check the indicator all right and then check all right reference uh, uh, reference this list for your chosen journal to check if it's trusted do you or your colleague know the journals so you have to take if you have read any article from the journal before it is easy to discover the latest paper in the journal if it's easy so you have to take it name of the journal is quite unique if it's okay then you have to take it and can you cross check the, the information in journal uh, in general the journal in the ISS and portal okay this is uh, important also whether the ISSN ISSN S and it's uh, legit or not if you can cross check it you can click this can you easily identify and contact the publisher you can email the publisher you can uh, double triple check how the publisher re reply your emails okay and then can you contact the publisher by telephone, email, or post, okay? If they, if they have their own uh, social media, you can uh, bust them in Twitter, um, in uh, Facebook, or even in LinkedIn. If you cannot contact them, then you can untick this. Is the journal clear about the types of peer review it use okay does the web mention whether the process involved independent external reviewer and how many reviewer per paper okay so this is should be this indicator should be clear 
is the publisher offering a review by an expert auditorial board or by the research uh, researchers in your area? If it's okay, then you click yes. The journal doesn't qu gu uh, guarantee acceptance. Okay, this is click out if the journal doesn't guarantee. Uh, if the journals uh, uh, promise you everything, it's uh, going to be accepted. That's something you need to think about back, okay? Usually not, um, usually most of the index uh, conference will guarantee you acceptance. Uh, but you have to double check whether the conference are indexed and scopus or not. Some of the uh, university accept uh, conference paper in um, as a publication in Web of Science, but in University of Malaya, we don't um, accept conference paper as uh, publications uh, in Web of Science. Okay, there is a in further indi uh, further indicator you need to uh, untick before you check the status of the journal, bef uh, whether the journal are indexed or not in Web of Science. Next indicator, uh, next question is uh, articles index or archive uh, in the dedicated service. Okay, you need to double check it. Does the publisher ensure long-term archiving and preservations of the digital publications? Does the publisher use permanent digital identifier? Okay. It is, it is clear what fees will be charged, okay? So you need to double, triple check this, all right? If it's okay, then you can click it. Uh, the guideline provide for the authors on the publish, uh, publisher website, okay? For open access journal, does the publisher has a clear license policy? This is very important, clear license policy. Are there any preference uh, preferred uh, license that they use, okay? Some of the uh, country, they have their own um, copyright or copyright license. Um, for example, in US, they are using um, <coughs> Sherpa Romeo. So in other country might have a different uh, policy that you need to double, triple check, okay? Does the publisher allow you to retain the copyright of your, uh, your work? Can you share it via work via, for example, your IR, <coughs> your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your research gate? So uh, usually the publisher will ask you, will tell you which sections or which uh, copyright level that belong to you. So you need to double triple check whether uh, the publisher allowed you to retain the copyright of your own work, okay? If it's okay, then you click okay. Does the publisher have a clear policy regarding uh, potentially conflict of in interest of authors, editors, and reviewer? All right, so usually most of the publisher didn't have a clear policy on this, but it's good to have a clear policy regarding uh, the conflicts of the publication among uh, authors, editors, and reviewers. Can you tell format of your paper will be available? Most of the journal will definitely tell you this format. And the last one is does the journal provide any information about the metric of the usage of citations? Meaning to say they will uh, give you information about the, the, the status of the journal, the hash index, the index, the metrics, some metrics, index metric uh, calculations in their, uh, in their publications, all right? So the next item, uh, the next question before you submit it is, uh, is the publisher a member of a recognized industry initiative? For example, COP, Committee of Publication Ethics, all right? So you need to check this committee, does the publisher names are available in their list? And then, does the journal, it's a, if the journal is open access, it definitely should be listed under directory of open access journal in DOAJ, okay, DOAJ. And then, if it, the journal is open access, does the publisher belong to open access scholarly publisher association, OASPA, okay? Double, triple check the status of the publisher before you submit. Some publishers are not even a real company, all right? 
Is the journal hosted on one of the INASP's journals online platform for journal published in Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Central America, and Mongolia, or African Journal Online AJOL for African journals? Okay, we receive uh, we receive quite numbers of info. Um, question from the academia regarding on the status of the journal published by the African country, uh, some of uh, publication from Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, uh, regarding on the quality, the health, the, the status of the journal, does the journals are legit or not. So there is a platform that you need to double triple check um, in journals online, uh, I am ASP journal online and public uh, African journals online. <coughs> they the publishers should be listed in those um, listing. Okay, if the journal if the journal is open access, is the host is Celo uh, for Latin America scientific journals. Okay, and uh, uh, for those who are published in Latin America, Caribbean, Spain, Portugal, it should be indexed in uh, Lat Latin Dex. Latin Dex. Okay, and if it's published from the Latin uh, Latin America, Caribbean, Spain, and Portugal again, you can also use uh, Readly. All right, to check whether whether the the publisher listed in um, those um, uh, publications uh, listing. Okay, the last part is uh, is the publisher a member of another trade associations? Meaning to say, uh, the publisher have a different business. They are selling books. They are selling. They are do. They are event management company. They are even a consult consultations. So you need to double triple check if they have a different um, trade associations. They should clear uh, inform you and make sure you aware of that status. All right. Let take some of this. <clears throat> And then you have to submit. You have to click uh, download your result. So this is the result. Okay. So it's uh, similar like the first indicator whereby they will calculate the numbers of tick. The more the tick is the better of the change, uh, the better of the percentage. Okay. The more the tick, the better of the percentage for you to consider uh, to publish in uh, that particular publications, okay? All right. So again, you guys can use uh, this website, uh, thinkcheck.submit.org journals, okay? And uh, explore this website. Um, if you go to the home, you can check uh, book chapter also, book and chapter. If you click this, there is also an element before you submit your book or uh, book chapter, okay? Because um, I'm uh, aware the in University of Malaya, uh, the percentage of the mark for the book uh, and book chapter are quite high also for promotions. <clears throat> okay, so these are the question that you need to ask yourself before you submit your uh, book and book chapter. Okay, so again, this website, it's, um, it's a legit website. It's, it's give you a clear information on uh, the indicator or question that you need to ask yourself first before you submit your articles or manuscript. I would like to share with you the article just now I showed you. So this is the article from uh, William H. Hannam Library. This is the librarians and the researcher uh, doing um, uh, predatory journals and publishers. So this is the uh, evaluation, journal evaluation tools, okay? So this is the rubric that you can check, you, you can uh, follow. And this is the evaluation scoring sheet for you to tick or uh, rank yourself and you should uh, calculate everything. And then this is the guide 
to interpret. Okay, this is the guide to interpret. Alright, some university have their own initiative. Um, for example, University Utara Malaysia, they have a very good uh, platform for their for for all actually you you can use them uh, their platform also to check whether the journals uh, or publication are legit or not the indicator uh, some of the indicator are from thing check submit uh, indicator whereby you have to ask yourself uh, whether it's uh, <coughs> it's um, it's suitable or not all right <coughs> Okay, so again, this is a uh, thing check, um, and this is the question that you need to ask yourself before you publish or before you decide to publish in those uh, publication. All right, so this is the guideline, uh, guideline provided by the authors on the publisher uh, website, and then you have to submit and you can download your result to get the. Um, whether it's um, we, they encourage you or not. Okay, the more the tick, the more higher perc uh, percentage for them to encourage you to publish in those uh, publication. The alternative way to check whether it's a predatory journal or not, it's if is in the case you are submitting to open access journals. Okay, open access journals. In open access journals, uh, there also provide you a indicator for you to ask yourself before you submit to any open access journal as mentioned in thing uh, ask and submit website uh, you need to check in doaj if the publication is open access journals so this is the qr code you can scan this qr code to go to doaj website or you can go to doaj.org, apply transparency. Okay, apply transparency. So let's go to this one. Yeah. So this is DOAJ, uh, Open Global Trust. So they have a few indicators for you to check. Uh, principle of transparency and the best practice in scholarly public publishing journal content the name of the journal the journal should uh, the journal name should be unique and not be one of the easier confused with another journals okay we cannot use we cannot publish we are not encouraged you guys to publish in the same <clears throat> journal themes the website should be properly supported by and maintained with particular attention to give the security aspect to help to protect user from the viruses and malware. Okay, and then this is uh, yeah you sh you can read it. And then uh, in addition to requirement outlined above, this following item should be clearly also display the aim and the scope the theme of the journals that is very important the target readers of the journals the types of the manuscript that the journal will consider to publish right and then the authorships uh, criteria it can be the who's the owner of the journal and then the authorship criteria it can be the copyright clearance uh, that authors get the level of uh, the copyright levels that um, belong to the authors okay and then uh, is there any um, printed versions is there any uh, digital versions of the ISSN or EISSN and then the public, uh, publishing schedule, the archiving policy, the copyright, this is very important, the copyright, the licensing, okay, the licensing should be clear, described on the website, and so on. And then the publication ethics related to editorial policy, so this is general practice, so you should check the journal policy on the authorships and contributions, how the journal will handle the complaints and appeals and so on. Peer review, okay, this is some of the indicator that you need to ask yourself uh, regarding on the peer review, whether or not the content is peer reviewed. Check uh, who conduct the peer review, for example, external expert or editorial board members. So, 
you need to double triple check the background of the 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 editors okay the edit uh, editorial box member make sure it's a real person make sure it's from uh related field it's expert in the related field and check also the university or institutions that they claim they belong to okay some of the institutions are fake and some of the uh, institutions are not in the <clears throat> not credited properly okay and uh then you should also check the assess the organization ownerships and management uh, informations about the ownership and management of the journal should be clear in the kit of the journal's website who belong who uh, who is the ownership of the uh, journals it's belong to a persons or institutions or divisions or departments okay and then the advisory body, so there is also a new element here, advisory body, editorial team, contact information, business practice, okay, the author fees, another revenues, okay, advertising, direct marketing, um, and this is some of the uh, organization uh, that um, you can check to check the legit um, whether the publisher is legit or not, okay. The Committee of Publication Ethics, the OAJ, World Medical Editorials, Open Access, <clears throat> and you can download this um, as your guideline. Um, you can print it and then you can ask yourself before you can do a, uh, your own assess. Uh, uh, you can do your own uh, edit. Uh, before you uh, submit your articles in those publications. All right. <clears throat> the last um, part of uh, to identify whether it's a predatory journal or not is to check whether the name of the journals or publications are listed in the predatory reports or not, okay? Whether it's uh, listed under predatory journal, uh, reports. Some of the predatory reports have a consistent names of the journals that they claim it's a predatory journals. For example, in predatory reports, um, the list in the predatory report might not also listed in Bellis. The list in the ballast might not listed in the uh, Malaysian Minister of Higher Education's um, ban uh, journals, and not all publications are uh, belong to each of these predatory reports. Okay, so nowadays we have uh, quite numbers of predatory reports. Then you can check um, if the name of the journal are listed in one cat in one it should be enough to avoid that publications okay should be enough for you uh, to check whether uh, to avoid those publications the first one is berlis okay you can scan this qr code and check uh, berlis.net berlis.net okay <coughs> Uh, even though the last update um, details in Berlis is 2021, we still use uh, this um, um, listing uh, list uh, in Berlis uh, to get <coughs> to check whether the publication are predatory journals or not. Okay, so. This is the updated versions uh, in 2021, academic publications, academic solutions, ACTA, press, ACTA, scientific, and so on. Okay, let's go to the Berlis.
So this is Berlis. In this website, they will list to you all the original lists and updated lists, the potential period originals and publisher. Okay, so you you should check whether the names of the publication are listed in bell list or not. Okay, this is quite numbers of publications that we are not encourage you guys to submit because of the reputations or because of the sum of the indicator are not uh, fulfilled uh, in the previous um, checklist. Okay, and then yeah numbers and then there is the updated versions okay this is the updated versions all right so here here uh, we include publisher that we are not original in berlis but may be predatory so something that you need to think about it you need to double triple check even though this publisher are uh, not in the previous original berlis but they claim this might be the predatory journals or public predatory publisher. So you have to check using the indicator that we discussed before, whether the board of the editorial board are legit editorial board, the fees, the journal website, the revenue information and scheduling of the uh, publications. So you need to double triple check whether the publications uh, publisher is legit publisher or not. In Bellis, or uh, they also give you <coughs> useful page, meaning to say list of the journal falsely claim to be indexed in the OAJ, the OAJ journal added and remove, okay, and so on. So this also uh, Bellis also provide you a conference, questionable conference, okay. Some of the faculty or university didn't um, didn't uh, check. Uh, I mean uh, didn't acknowledge uh, Hindawi as a publication, but some of the public, uh, uh, faculty in the university are accepting Hindawi. So uh, they uh, in Bellis also, they give you how to avoid period region uh, conference, okay, Flaky academic conference block. And this is some of the tools, evaluate uh, journal evaluation tools. This is the article just now I showed you. You can also check in journal master list, okay? Journal master list to check whether the journals are uh, legit or not, okay? In master journal list. And then even though the journal are listed here, you need to double triple check in the web of science, okay? And then the DOI journal just now I showed you. The, and then uh, they also list to you the think check submit, okay, the website, this one, think check submit, you need to ask yourself whether these journals um, follow or fulfill this indicator or not, alright. So this is Berlis. The, uh, they give you the potential predatory scholarly open access uh, publisher, the original list and the updated versions, so this is the updated versions, alright. <clears throat> Next is predatory report. So in predatory report, they also give you the list of the publication that they uh, find it may might be predatory journals in scientific publications. So uh, in predatory report, they give you two. Uh, listing which is the predatory uh, publisher list and the second one is the predatory, uh, predatory journal list okay so in predatory report we have um, this one is the predatory uh, publisher list so they list it to you uh, all the public uh, predatory listed uh, according to them and then this is the predatory journal list. Uh, they have uh, part one, part two, and part three. Let's go to the website. So this is the uh, website. <clears throat> so predatory journals and scientific. All right. And then uh, you can check whether the list this one so predatory listed so this is the predatory publisher list 
So they have quite a number. Some of the lists are not listed in bare list, so you have to double check. Okay, so I strongly suggest you to click Control F and check whether your journal since is legit journals or not. So this one, informations, informations, okay. Next is Spiritary Journal List. So part one, part two, and part three. In part one, so this is the list in the part one. Okay. Part two. And part three. All right. So please check the list. Uh, if it's listed in the predatory report, you have to reconsider and ask your librarian whether uh, you are in, whether you can uh, publish your manuscript in those uh, publications. All right, so the next uh, predatory report is Cables, Cables, okay, Cables. So you can uh, go to this website to check uh, cables. However, you need to get the uh, quotations, meaning to say you have to pay to get the uh, reports. You have to pay to get the reports. Okay, this is the website. So in cables, um, they don't uh, give you the list, but you you should uh, you 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 sh you can get the quotations of the status of those uh, journals. If it's um, predatory journals or not, they will um, list to you all the informations about the journals, uh, the the status of the journals, the publications, the um, uh, the information, the submissions, the rate the website okay the link of the um journals the, the further details about the editorials uh informations about the journals but you have to get a code um uh to get the informations regarding on the publication that you want to publish okay but then this is another option for you to consider uh instead of you you check in by list and you can um, barely uh, predatory reports. You can also go to the cabels to check whether the publications and publisher is a legit publisher or public and publications. Next, it's um, Ministry of uh, Ma Malaysia Ministry of uh, Higher Education's. Uh, band list. You can uh, check in the Mohe band list uh, for those uh, to check whether your publication is banned in uh, Malaysia or not. You can ask your librarian a copy of band list from Mohe, but I'm not sure whether there is a updated versions of this and if there is a list, you need to check the letters of uh, the band list and you need to check with your librarians whether uh, your uh, um, uh, publication uh, belong in this uh, four publish uh, publisher that not recognized by the Malaysian uh, Minister of Higher Education. Okay. So be aware of the uh, publisher, Euro Journals, Common Ground Publisher, Academic Journals, African World Press, and this list uh, list of uh, journal by Euro Journal um, Inc. and then list of the journals of Common Ground Publishing and so on. So basically, there is four uh, listed as a uh, Ben uh, Mohe Ben list. Uh, you can get this copy from your librarians, but I'm not sure the latest one. Uh, do we have a latest one um, by Mohe or not? Um, we need to double triple check this, but it's good for us also to know uh, the availability of this report for you to check uh, 
uh, with your librarians later on. This is the alternative resource that you can use. You can go to the open access journals. Uh, it, this is blog actually, uh, openaccessjournal.com blog territory journal list. Uh, in this uh, blog, they also list it to you all the territory journals that you can check. Okay, it's something not to uh, be, uh, you can use this website as a inform uh, fundamental information before you submit your um, your manuscript. Some of the uh, journal might not be a uh, periodic journals. So you have to double, triple check according to the indicator that we discussed before. And you should also check whether the uh, journal is indexed or not in those uh, particular index provider. All right, if you are referring to Web of Science, so you should check the uh, publication whether it's indexed in Web of Science and then you check um, whether the journals are in the periodic journals or not. So don't simply publish your manuscript in index, um, uh, index uh, journals. You should also consider to check the status of the journal whether it's a uh, periodic journals or not. So this uh, open access journal give you again the list of the uh, periodic journals. The latest one is on um, 2023 list of um, list of periodic journals this year. Yeah. So this one is the latest one. And then let's check few website whether it's uh, it's uh, periodic journals or not. Okay, this is some of the website that uh, some of the publication that um, in the periodic journals. Uh, okay, the first one is medical science. Okay, medical science from this website. Um, there is nothing much on the uh, ownerships of the website. Who's the ownerships of this medical science? Okay, if you click home, all right, they don't give you the ownership of the uh, web, uh, the journals. Okay, if you click about, so they also, uh, only give you about the site, the list of the journals. Okay, and then uh, you need to log in to uh, have a um, to check further detail in their uh, website, you need to register. Okay, this one is nothing much. It should be registered, but perhaps you need to register in those particular one of the journals, and they give you search. Okay, as you can see here, there is no editorial bot. There is no uh, editorial bot here in medical science. Okay, there is no editorial bot. Even though there is an author guide here, if you click this, this is the author guide, title page, text, table, reference, copyright, publication, peer review. Okay, the publication and peer review are not clear enough. Okay, and then um, publication, published statement of human and uh, animal right. Okay, nothing much on the uh, how to submit. Uh, the peer review process, the fees, okay? There is no also a journal index or not, the journal ranking, um, no elements of um, ownerships again here, all right? It's something that you can double, triple check. So the copyright is also very simple here. There is no um, comprehensive copyright, level of copyright. So even though these publications are very, uh, I must say, people are, are sending their paper here, but these publications are not uh, good to be uh, for you to submit the uh, publications. Okay, this is obviously this is spirit regionals. All right. Next, it's um, academic and scientific publishing, open access and open mind. First impression, the website is very amateur website. Okay, first impression, the website is very amateur website. So as you can see here, there is uh, about us. So nothing. It's very simple one about us. Okay, 
again there is no ownership of the web uh, the journals they only give you the theme okay and then the journals so they they list you all the journals and as you can see the journals are multidisciplinary journals and it's something that they are not focusing okay And then there is no issues. There is no um, editorial bot also. Okay. So they invite you to be a editorial bot members or reviewer. So this is very fishy. A minimum of PhD degree is required for editor robot members of reviewer. Contact us, okay? Very simple one. So you need to double triple check before you submit your publication in these um, journals. Next, it's um, London Journal Press, okay? London Journal Press. London Journal Press. So in London Journal Press, okay, as you can see, the website is very beautiful. Uh, they use the word London here. Okay, they use the word London here. And then uh, we need to check whether we click home so this is the home so they give you our publishing benchmark access for editor reviewer for librarians collaborator okay they claim you they have a collaboration and index by oxford university british library cambridge trinity dublin okay this is promising So this is the list of the journals. Okay, it's multidisciplinary journals. All right. About us, they do have a about us. All right. So again, even though they have a the, there is no further information about uh, about them. Okay. It's just information about publishing. What next? Association with. They all, yeah, they have the, the, the address, but you need to check the address. So, untick for the ownerships. There is no about us, okay? Editorial board, okay? So, this is the editorial dashboard. So, they have quite promising. We have professor, doctors. We have somebody from Malaysia. All right, somebody from Malaysia. We have uh, from Morocco, France. This is very promising, but again, you have to double triple check the background of the um, editorial board. So far, nothing. Um, the elements is very promising, but. There must be a reason why this journal London Press is categorized as a periodary journal. Let's check on how to and timeline of the publications. Okay, so we have the author guidelines, track your paper live, and here we have a problem: the guideline and timeline. As you can see here, the timeline and guideline is very short period. Okay, it's within what, seven days. It can be done in one day. It can be done in one day. Okay, it can be done in one week, actually. One day, one day. 
This one is one week. It can be done in one day also. Minimum seven, within seven days, it can be done in one day also. Launching, it can be done in one day also. Two to three weeks, I believe in one week, your publications is already published in those uh, publications in this London Journal Press. Okay, so here is something that you need to double, triple check. The guideline and the timeline, it's very fishy. It's within seven days, within seven days. So they promise you to, to, to publish your paper very fast. Okay, so it's something that you need to aware. Even though the website are very legit website, the website seems very legit. The website is it's they use London words. They have a very beautiful website. But if you can see the website, if you click organizations organizations about us, nothing much of about them. Okay, and then they keep uh, fool you with the associations and collaborate collaborations. This one. All right, collaborations with British Library, Oxford, National Library of Scotland, Cambridge, Trinity. Okay, this is a very good university. Okay, and the editorial board, it's very promising. We got somebody from Malaysia. Let's check whether is there any Malaysia again, Malaysia. We have uh, Dr. Sharif. We have Dr. Wahil Salah. Okay, you have to double, triple check the status of this person, whether it's from um, uh, multimedia uh, university, Cyberjaya. Okay. Oh no, this is the qualifications. Uh, yeah, it's from UUM. Okay, uh, U uh, MMU. We have another one, Malaysia here, from, oh, this one is his PhD. All right. So again, you have to check the timeline. The timeline is very fishy. It's written seven days. It can be done in one week, actually, for the whole process, even though the board of the uh, editorials are very uh, interesting person and they have uh, quite numbers of editorial board. Okay. Next is expert journals. So this is the website for expert journals. So as you can see, there is nothing much here. Obviously, it's a predatory journals. Um, they use uh, nothing about the previous uh, publication, no copyright, no auditor, uh, uh, editorials, ownerships, there is no ownerships, there is no about the, the intro, uh, information about the publications, okay? And then the website is very amateur website, so nothing much, uh, nothing, uh, there is no further information about any publications and um, publisher uh, in this website. All right. And this is so amateur. So these are some of the elements that you need to check, uh, check in the, uh, in the website. Okay whether the structure of the website, the list of the publications, ownership, authorships. All right, for this, uh, this is very amateur. This one is so prominent, yet uh, they fool us with the timeline, okay? They fool us with the timeline. So double, triple check this one. Okay, come uh, predatory journals. Uh, once the author has signed the copyright transfer or approved publication of the article in the predatory journal, your chance of having an article removed from that particular journal are highly unlikely. Okay, always remember uh, copyright transfer is a legal form, meaning to say you already give a de them a permission to manipulate, to publish, or to do anything 
to your articles. That's the reason why we need to avoid predatory publisher from uh, the start. This is very important because um, we our article might be very good article. Our research might be very high impact uh, research, but the um, publications uh, journals are not good publication journals, so they don't do justice uh, justice for your research and the article itself. The empirical evidence in your research might be um, novel, so meaning to say you have to avoid predatory journals, even though the predatory journals are indexed in Web of Science and Scopus, even though the predatory journal has their own high uh, H index or impacts uh, calculation uh, index metrics. Okay, so. Uh, again, uh, you need to check whether the journals and publications are indexed or not. Right after you get the list of the potential publication, you need to check um, using the predatory journals indicator. Right after that, you can ask your librarian to confirm the list and then uh, you can submit your publication in the, that particular uh, publications. Uh, in the case of that uh, your articles is already published in the predatory journals, you can also consider to uh, following uh, options. First, you can try to contact the publisher by email, phones, or uh, letter. Okay, uh, request for article to be removed from the website. To be removed from the website. Okay. Um, Based from my experience, most of the time the author will not receive any uh, response back from the publisher, uh, even after uh, repeated attempts, especially by email, phone, or official letters, okay, because they only want your money. Um, if you don't sign your uh, copyright agreements uh, with the predatory journal, you can still uh, publish in the legit journals, meaning to say your paper is still belong to you. Um, that's the reason why you need to check the copyright concerns. Make sure the copyright, uh, the real legit copyright procedure, uh, they provide you the level of the copyright that belong to you before you sign the or submit your articles okay and then you can also take a legal action if you have a better if you have a strong evidence okay um many data manipulations or unclear instructions um unclear informations uh, over claim okay that's some of the uh, legal actions um in fact, you can also ask your legal advisor on this because uh, it will definitely affect uh, our uh, it will affect financial uh, issue also. All right. So publishing in a predatory journal could um, damage everything actually. In conclusion, it can damage your credibility and credibility of your research. You yourself, you have a bad, good background. Your research might have a good impact. Your studies is very noble. People are looking forward for your studies. Your studies are very significant. But the publications will affect that. Okay, meaning to say people will question your skill. People will question your credibility because of the publications. Predatory publisher have no interest in helping you to withdraw your articles. Okay, they will further charge you. Definitely, if they will um, charge you if you want to uh, remove your articles, if you want to um, do something or edit something, there is no clear information about the um, charge. Okay, so the copyright. Uh, process also might have a hidden charge okay we don't know your profile will be exploited for example by adding your num your names in the list of the edit uh, editors even though you don't agree with it some of the um, some of the author are suddenly being a board of direct uh, board of uh, editorials in some uh, conference so you need to double triple check 
uh, whether they use your name or not. Okay, they might manipulate your name uh, because of the your reputations, because of your research, because of your expertise. You might also lose your opportunity to publish your research in the credible journals. Meaning to say, right after you wrongly submitted your manuscript to the uh, preliminary journals, it will uh, limit your um, limit your chance to pub it should be published in the legit uh, credible uh, journal it should be uh, published in the right journals actually okay uh, it will definitely um, affect a monetary costs for your author for the authors and institutions uh, you might use your own money to publish and you might use uh, it will also uh, affect the research grant or even budget from the institutions to publish so you need to double triple check uh, the status of the journals before you publish uh, reputation cost for your authors and uh, institutions because there is a list of um, statistic. I believe there is a statistic on um, the damage has been done. Um, the list of the editor uh, authors who publish in poetry journals. Okay, negative definitely negative impact on ranking and research assessment. Um, in some uh, university, they not. Um, they not use. Uh, they will not uh, use spirit regional as one of the marks for the promotions, and um, for graduations to uh, students, uh, postgraduate graduations, uh, they might not uh, um, declare it as a, a fulfillment to graduate uh, your masters or PhD due to the publications as period regionals. Durability, there is no assurance of the longevity of the paper. Your paper might not be stored long and, uh, in their database, in their open repository. And then uh, possibility, possible and legal consequences. All right. So meaning to say, if you are using grant from other institutions, you might face uh, legal consequences because you are publishing in the not uh, in the not proper uh, journals in the proper territory journals. Okay. With that, uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, you can email me to Pfizer 5 at 6 at um, the you do my, or Pfizer 5 at 6 at gmail.com if you have any further question regarding on the Peter Regionals. You can also search me in LinkedIn. Um, we can connect and communicate via LinkedIn uh, if you want to uh, talk about Peter Regionals, uh, if you have uh, new information about Peter Regionals uh, and so on. All right, uh, with that, um, I give back to the uh, Umu. Yeah, um, thank you, Dr. Faisal. That was a very um, fruitful session. So, um, is there any question from the uh, participants? Maybe you have uh, queries or maybe you want to share your experience dealing with um, predatory journal or publisher. Anyone? You can just unmute your mic. There is some uh, there is uh, information shared by Saiful Hisham. Okay, that you can also use this website to evaluate the Petri journals. Um, uh, Saiful has already give you the link. Okay, apps dot lib u l uh, u -lich, Okay, this one. So you can get the link from the chat. Okay, thanks Saiful. Uh, we have question from uh, Chit Ramla. Uh, what is your opinion regarding current issue on Hindawi and MDPI journals? Again, uh, for Hindawi uh, cases, some of the uh, faculty accept Hindawi as a publication, uh, a very micro faculty, okay? But um, most of the um, university has a, a, a huge, um, not good 
impression toward Hindawi because of the massive um, publications. But then again, you have to double, triple check using the uh, predatory journal indicator before we uh, declare it as a publication. Uh, Predatory journals. For the MDPI journals, again, um, uh, aware of this problem, uh, the question here is whether it's indexed or not, and it's uh, whether it's uh, predatory journals or not. For the index one, we need to double, triple check uh, the, the the availability of the journals in the uh, index provider. And again, I don't personally uh, check. Uh, using the predatory journal indicator, whether MDPI journals are categorized as uh, predatory uh, publisher uh, journals or not. Okay, perhaps uh, Chit Ramla, we can communicate using emails uh, right after I check the status on uh, Hindawi and MDPI. But as a librarian, so I'm not strongly suggest you to publish in Hindawi and MDPI. All right, Chit Ramla. Any other um, questions? Yeah. Any other question from the participants? If you can unmute yourself and ask the question directly, uh, please feel free to do so. We have question from Mitia. Where can we see the ISI journal list? Okay. Uh, if you want to check whether the journal are indexed in ISR, where of science uh, journal list or not, uh, you should start with to check whether the journal are indexed in master journal list or not. Okay, master journalist first, master journalist. Second, you have to go to where of science uh, website double check whether the journal are indexed and the availability of the journal in that particular website web of science okay first is master journalist second is web of science third you have to check whether is there any uh, the, the journal or the publisher are listed in bellies or not okay bellies or not and you can also use um, others uh, platform to check whether the journal are indexed in those uh, barely uh, list or not all right clear uh, all right next we have another 30 minutes actually Any more questions from the participants? I guess if not, we can just end the session here so they can uh, freely contact you. All right? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, we have one question, last a, question. Yeah. Yeah, How to yeah. check uh, the Q, uh, Q, uh, Q1 or Q2? Actually, index and predatory journals are different topic, yeah. But then, uh, you have to double, triple check in Web of Science. You can click, uh, you can get it from Master Journalist and uh, Web of Science. The consistency of Q1 and Q2, you you will get the information about the journal right after you in both uh, Web. Of okay, Nikia. All right, if uh, there is no more questions, uh, happen to be you have a further question in future, you can always uh, email me or for those who are in University of Malaya, feel, feel free to contact any librarians uh, to talk about predatory journals or uh, index or index journals. All right, Umu? All right, uh, with that, I think we can end the session. Thank you, Dr. Faisal.